guys, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. I have Jonathan here. This doesn't happen very often. I'm excited about this one. Kiwi Crate's like a longtime favorite of mine. So yes. this is fun. He saw the boxes come through and he's like, hey, I want to be in that video. I was like, absolutely, I'd love for you to be in the video. This is KiwiCo and we are hanging out with two of their crates. Two of their one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different crate options. They have that they have many nine now? nine crate Man. options. The age range now is newborn to 100 plus years old. 100 plus years old, that's a well, category? You kept saying you love Kiwi Crates, like they finally just said, why why can't everybody do a Kiwi box? So, yeah. yes. So I have here the Yummy Crate, which is the newer one that they just released. And then I have the Doodle Crate. I got the Yummy Crate for my eight year old and I got the Doodle Crate for my 10 year old. And a kind of a funny thing is, she loves art, she loves all things. And I literally have a nickname where I call her Doodles. So she hasn't seen this yet. I think she's absolutely freaking she's gonna out. I love it. it. But uh, KiwiCo has the nine different box options. You choose which ones you want. They ship monthly. They have box options as low as $17.50 with free US shipping. So it's very affordable. If I can snag a coupon code, I'm gonna put it right down here. KiwiCo inspires kids to see themselves as makers, engineers, and creating their own innovative designs and outcomes. Ultimately, KiwiCo's mission is to provide the next generation of innovators with the tools and foundations to become creative problem solvers and critical thinkers. KiwiCo has fun, engaging, and educational projects from everyone from toddlers to kids to teens to adults. So there you go. Let's dive into... Mm, Let's dive into Yummy Crate second since it's the brand new box. Oh, it sounds like <laughs> food. I'm hungry. It, on the ta on the <laughs> receipt, hold on. On the receipt it says, description, hamburgers for Samantha. Mm, so I'm guessing good. that something inside that box over there has to do with hamburgers. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of cracked me up. Now I just want a hamburger. Hamburger, that sounds good. So this is the Doodle Crate. And I'm guessing we're gonna sculpt a set of custom colorful bowls out of paper. Oh my gosh. Okay, we should see if we can get Steve. Oh yeah, her hand She puppets. made hand puppets out of paper <laughs> last night. On this wrap, it talks about everything that you need that's provided. The handcrafted paper bowl sculpting with paper. And then inside here, it talks about what's in the crate. In this here, it talks about how you can even use the versatile materials to make your own things. It talks about the different types of paper, a peacock paper, a rice paper, paper mache puppets, which oh, is already something yeah. she loves to do. She's gonna love this. Obviously, it talks about the bowls. There's a whole video tutorial if they wanna get online and watch something as well. And then the instructions are very clear. Yeah, those are like really good instructions. Yeah, pretty straightforward. I like this because Honestly, especially during the summer or during long breaks, like Christmas break, I still have to go to work. So when I can give them a project like this, yeah, oh my gosh, great. they have so much fun completing all of this. So, I mean, I see it comes with the molds, which I think is like the most important cool. part. Um, and you've got like all the tools for it. The paper. Yeah, like here's, here's paper strips, priest cut strips. Uh. But I... Yeah, oh, there's really thin paper, really thin paper, almost like a tissue paper. And you've got a, a sponge. What's a sponge for? Is it to... Uh... Well, you paper mache. There's a paper mache bowl. Okay. Like, that's what okay. this is going to be a, a part of. It's been a long time since paper mache. So, look, you can see them sponging the paper on with the glue. Oh, okay. See right here? Okay, to so make sure it's all flat uh -huh. and stuff. And, okay, you've got a popsicle stick. You got more um, tissue paper, multi-colored oh, yeah, tissue so, paper. So like, uh, I don't know about this, but these go together for one project, one bowl. That's a different one. Oh, and then these clips. Yeah, I think that goes with that project. Okay. We'll show that one next. Okay. Then that goes with this project. This goes with this project. This is what you make your mix, like your glue water mix. Okay. That your paper goes in, that goes, you put it on here, yeah. and then once it hardens, you can pop your bowl off. Oh. Yeah, and then it looks like that, like that one. Like, this is so cool. They're going to so love this. This is a second project, which is putting the geometric forms together. So here's the geometric form bowl where you literally. Okay, and it's got, it came with. Uh huh. Here's the instructions for the geometric bowl. 
And then you use the paper yeah, squares. You put it into the bowl, right? That's really, really cool. Then you can use these to back the colors. What I like about this is this isn't something that you can just like, like I was like, okay, tissue paper, you can just cut up some tissue paper, but this is something that is truly like unique. Like you can't just make this. Yes, and they're saying like, they're bowl bowls, like yeah. hold stuff. Like yeah. by the time you're done, your kids should be able to store the stuff in, which is something that's important to my daughter. Like if she just makes something like this and she spends all her time, she gets frustrated. But this she'll put on her yeah. shelf, her office supply shelf. And this is, I guess, like a mat, place mat, so you don't get anything dirty. Yep. So this is the Doodle Crate, ages 9 to 13, and it invites young designers to build creative confidence by experimenting with art and design techniques in monthly hands-on projects. Very fun. And this has multiple in here. So the next one I'm going to show you is Yummy Crate. But before I dive into that, I'm just sitting here thinking, what a brilliant gift. Like, oh, such yeah. an easy gift. Oh, yeah. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. So you could order, and if you get your box in time, then obviously you can wrap it and throw it under the tree. But if you don't get your box in time, you can print off the gift certificate and say, hey, guess what? This is coming. So it says $17.50. How much is it for like an annual? It's $210. Everybody has different budgets, but I, in a heartbeat, would do at least a six month subscription. Or I, because I don't like junk in the house. I don't like lots of piddly things. I don't like junky toys that ultimately I throw away, you guys. Like there's no involvement, I just throw it away. I would have the family come together and say, everybody pitch in to get a yearly an annual on this subscription. Yeah, and it's, what's cool is you, you just, if you don't have time to do one that month, you literally store it there. And it's like uh -huh. for this, store them for the summer months when you need multiple projects to do yep. and, and a whim. Like I just pull it out of the closet and you're ready to go. Yep. Project all done. Yep, it comes in a very own storage box. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, so Yummy Crate is the new one. I wanted to check it out. It helps kids discover the science of cooking with recipes and activities that explore hands-on experimentation in and out of the kitchen. And recommended ages is six to 14. So really both, both girls them, could do yeah. both boxes. Paige would need Emma I, for actually, that. Actually, I but... think they're both gonna wanna do this one and I think they're both gonna wanna do this one. Tasty and toasty. Brown oh burgers and more dinner delights. So it has this guy right here. But it's a full folder full of things. I'm not like, I'm gonna have to dig in here with you guys. So, in this crate, explore the tasty, toasty power of the. Ma M Mallard? Maillard? Maillard? Maillard reaction. What's a Maillard? <laughs> I have no idea. Hold on, look that up. What's Maillard mean? Is a chemical reaction between amino acids and reducing sugars that gives brown food its distinctive flavor. Seared steaks, fried dumplings, cookies, biscuits, breads, toasted marshmallows, and more. Oh my gosh. Go okay. through no, this. Hold on. We were literally talking about this <laughs> last, last night. night. <laughs> I was making a steak and I'm like, why can't I get a perfect sear every single time on this steak? And then I was like, why don't they teach stuff like this in school? Why don't they teach kids, hey, how do you grill a steak? How do you grill burgers? And literally the next day, <laughs> Kiwi Crate to the rescue is gonna teach my kids how to cook oh meat. My oh gosh. my gosh, this is fantastic. That I'm excited is about this. so funny. I might actually learn something on this. So it says, Dear Grown Up Sous Chef, and it has all the instructions for the parent who's assisting, and it does say, that the items inside are dishwasher safe. Oh, it's, it's a meat press. It's like a, it's like a burger press. Look, it's a kid's burger press. And But this is real. Like, this is a real burger press. This is what press. we're going to start using as yes. a burger press. I am going to start using this. It has everything you're going to need to cook. So all the ingredients so your kiddo can go pick it up. If that you is... need to make substitutions to make it vegetarian, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, here is how to make substitutions to the recipe. This is so cool. That's brilliant. This is so cool. Paige is gonna love that and yeah. Emma's gonna love that. Yeah. It is like spot on. So design your own dinner menu uh -oh. so they make the menu. So here's all the instructions on how to make the menu. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so great. Oh, and I guess this is so that you can design your own menu. Yes. The markers There's and markers in oh, here. Oh, it's a dry erase. This is dry erase. Is there something dry erase? Uh, I don't know. But Look, oh, you, you put, put it, it in, in here. Because it's a menu. It's a menu. It's a menu. And they can write, oh, that's so cool. So here's the menu. And they can they can write on it and then erase it away. So the things about their restaurant, right, don't change. Don't change. Use the marker, mm -hmm. write about your restaurant and design it. 
and then Special the inside of the changes, and that's what the marker's for. So then you can change. Some good Bob's Burgers ideas for that one. <laughs> What's the name of your burger, Dad? The maybe the Bohemian Radishy. The Bohemian Radishy yeah. burger. Or the Beater Late Than Never. <laughs> or how about the If Looks Could Kale? Burger? Oh, I'll, I'll take that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're gonna confuse the kids. They're gonna do all this work and you're gonna like name their burger something weird. So then on here, it says explore browning dough. Add a wash to your dough before baking for it to brown. So on this instructional, it tells you all the ingredients you're gonna need for that. And then once you have them, it tells you exactly how to do everything to brown dough. And then here's the, did we say it's, how do we decide that's being said? Oh, I don't think Melliard. Hold on. Mellard. Let's get the exact. My ard. Maillard? That Maillard. makes more sense. The Maillard reaction. That makes more sense. Are we saying yeah. that right? Y'all can tell us if we're saying that right. Maillard. Like M-Y-A-R-D. Maillard. Maillard. That makes sense. The Maillard reaction. So it talks all about that in this little additional magazine. It talks about how it plays out in different instances, which is cool. And it actually is like a really cool storyline of Ginger and Barley's restaurant. It's not super scientific -y. it's really more about the characters and how they are experiencing that which would make the kids so this is like a great like homeschool like teaching thing like like parent teaching a child super fun to add into a homeschool curriculum. yeah so like because i i feel like this is more of like a parent trying to teach a child about this yeah this one definitely is more parent hands-on whereas this sure. is more like a kid activity they can do this is like i'm gonna spend some time make it fun but still teach something yes Oh yeah, they even tell you right here. If I would have read the Hey Grown Up section, the very first <laughs> sentence says, in this crate, your young chef will discover the Maillard, and then they spell it out. M-Y-Y-A-R-D. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really okay. good with instructions. Yep, I just jumped over. I got excited. I was yeah. looking through everything. What are all of these delicious recipes to make at home? Oh, I'm already so hungry. Oh, this looks so good. So, oh my gosh. They're like really nice. The brown burger, it talks about how much it makes. It talks about prep time, cooking time, the difficulty. I'm gonna, you may need this yeah, next time no, you make this burgers. Is good. Make your patties, cook your patties, build your burger. Like literally food can splash on this, you just wipe it off. Oh yeah, it's like a, uh -huh. yeah. Really good quality paper. So here's your tools and your ingredients. Here's how to customize your burger. And there's one for burgers. There's one for smashed potatoes. Is that not so cute? That's fun. And then there's one for chicken tenders. Well, I, make your own chicken tenders. I love that. It's not just yes. out of a frozen bag. Like we're gonna get like quality ingredients. This how to great. customize it. That is so cute. This is neat. I mean, so our girls just joined Girl Scouts and one of the things that they just did was learn to cook their own food while they were on Girl Scouts and they came back and our oldest was like, hey, I wanna, yeah. I wanna cook, but I only know one thing. I can only do the one thing. So she has made us that one thing a couple times now. And what about some better staples than burger, burgers, chicken tenders, and, and smashed potatoes. Smashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, very, very cool. So, this is exciting. like I said earlier, this is just two of nine boxes that they offer. There is the Panda Crate, which is ages zero to 24 months, so right, the, the developmental stages. There's Koala Crate, which is what the girls used to have from yep. ages two to four. That was a fun one. There's Kiwi Crate, which is, would you keep calling, this is Kiwi Co. Oh, right, The right, Kiwi right. Crate is now its own crate for five to eight years old, okay. but we did also have that well, one for Well, Kiwi Crate was like the, I guess, the, the first original. one. The yeah. original, uh-huh. Then they expounded. There's Atlas Crate for ages six to 11 to spark kids' sense of adventure and curiosity. We showed you Yummy Crate. We showed you Doodle Crate. There's Tinker Crate, ages nine to 13, which is science. Eureka Crate, ages 14 to 104 plus, <laughs> which teaches kids and kids at heart the principles of science and math to engineering solutions. And Maker Crate, ages 14 to 104 plus, which is first time crafter or experienced makers experiment with new techniques in drawing, real life designs, finishing hands on oh, proctions, cool. fun and functional based. That's fun. I almost got Emma that one, but yeah. it was 14 and I was well, like, well, we need to see what they up. mean by 14. Oh, I will see if I can find a past and box. If I can, I'll link it up here. We have been doing KiwiCo boxes for years. Can I, seven years now? Yeah, yeah. So we can officially tell you that they've stood the test of time. They're phenomenal value. They're phenomenal product. They're high quality products. They make great gifts. We're fans around yeah. here. 
uh, let us know which one you want us to do next. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day and thank you for hanging with us. And we'll see you guys later. Bye y'all.